I think the reality, though, if you look at the posture of policymakers, it's hard for me to name any country where policymakers are behaving in any other way other than wanting to support their economies, um, and in, whether it's direct or indirect, their, their financial markets. So, you, look, we should be worried if central banks decided they wanted to turn off the tap. I don't see any signal of that. And, in fact, the international organisations like the IMF continue to stress the importance of policy support for sustaining the sort of economic upswing that we've already started. And it's notable that even in countries where we have a, we've had a resurgence in cases recently, it hasn't worried markets very much because the policy response is so strong. Richard Gurman, can we joining in this conversation? And it would continue to be, start, uh, you know, the, the policy response that we are seeing from central banks across the world, that would continue to be strong uh, in your view? Because if you just uh, picked up uh, some of the comments uh, coming in from the RBNZ, then they are also willing to do more, expand and extend uh, their uh, asset purchase programs. So this is going to be just flowing into the markets for a long time, uh, policy support from central banks? Look, probably. I mean, something could t come along to interrupt it. But if you think about the incentive structure for policymakers, I'm sure, I, I think, like us, they're probably thinking about, you know, the size of some of these public def debt levels, what happens at the end of these, these programs, what's kind of, what does the second half of the, of the game look like, if you like. But um, all you can really do is play the game in front of you. And the game in front of you is economies still are partially shut down, even where um, COVID is well under control. International borders are largely closed globally. Supply chains are interrupted. International tourism is effectively non-existent globally. Um, and there's no inflationary pressure to speak of. In fact, the risks are, are, are all the reverse. And given central banks have mandates to target inflation, um, it's very hard to see how any of them can really step away from this policy stance.